Hey, hi, hello again everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it is tremendous to be back out here with you again, taking another quick peek at a game that has just completely hooked me. This is One Button Bosses, and if you have not seen this yet, if you didn't hang out with us last time around, this game is exactly as advertised. You can play it with just one button. Our goal here is to build up as much momentum as we possibly can, and as we do that, as we rotate faster and faster, our bullets are going to get stronger and stronger, and then as we go on, we're going to build up more powers because, of course, every time we beat a stage, we're going to get an opportunity to uh, grab something that's going to be a nice little shot in the arm here. So I actually recorded this run just the other day, and uh, we're having a watch party, you know? A lot easier to say cheers to you, drink a cup of coffee along the way, and uh, kind of retake in this run. Now, this run, I'm going to tell you something, a little bit of a spoiler, this run is juicy. It's very good. It's, it's a fun run. I failed to admit, every time I press that button, it slows us down. So again, you want to try to stay as speedy as possible here. Let's see what we got. I do like the buddy power-up. You know, you're getting that additional shooter. The other thing that's kind of nice about having this watch party format is I am just completely dead ass fall over tired right now. I don't think I mentioned this yet, but we are now in the process, in the midst, we are in the midst, I think it's, it's better said, we are in the midst of a full kitchen remodel. I'm talking about ripping walls down. I'm talking about shortening walls. Okay, if you know about shortening walls, I'll tell you what, that is that is a thing that produces a ton of dust. Let me tell you, my downstairs right now is full of dust. And today, for the first time, I used a device called a shop vac. Are you familiar? with this. This is a glorious machine. I should have went with the shop bag first, but uh, you know, if you've hung out here before, this is not going to surprise you. The goat grabbed the Dyson first and uh, started to, you know, get all kinds of particulate and dust and, you know, stuff that comes off of, well, walls when you're ripping them down, all that stuff. Um, it turns out even if you're rocking a Dyson, yeah, it's it gets clogged. It's not good. It's not good. You got to unclog it before the wife gets home, okay? Um, so don't worry. I did. I did. But, uh, yeah, we got a little bit of a mess going, and I have a contractor doing a lot of the work, but I have, you know, offered myself up as tribute to help out with the process and that means hauling off a bunch of heavy uh, garbage well now it's garbage Th this garbage used to be hanging up on the wall um, but that's not the case anymore now it's it's being ripped off so it's actually garbage uh, and I'm hauling it into the garage so that you know we can slowly get rid of it we didn't do the big uh, you know trash can rental thing right uh, the trash can is, I, I guess it's i guess it's just going to be the garage for a little bit. It is what it is. This boss is tricky. Uh, that said, I, I think it's a lot of fun to play. There's a lot to keep track of. Yeah, see, I, I almost bit it on that one. What's helpful in this game, I've found, is to play it over and over and over again. Very much like Rabbit and Steel. Now, some of you saw that win that we finally had. This part is really difficult, too. Just managing the 
circles and when they're going to dissipate and finding that finding that Goldilocks zone to just hang out in. But we did okay there. We did okay there overall. Yeah. So I am kind of the the errand boy and it's a lot of back and forth and God, it blew me away. You know, this evening I went for a walk with the wife and my, you know, my my uh, watch started binging away and, and it was congratulating me on hitting the 10,000 steps. And I'm going, what are you talking about? I, I never left. Yeah, so I was... Uh, I was marching to the beat of, of some kind of drummer today. Um, and so the house, yeah, I think it's fair to say the house is in just a complete disarray. And, and I would have loved to uh, get around to making a fresh video for you all. Uh, but, you know, it just so happened that I had this footage sitting there and it's a fun run, you know, right? Right? Hey, if you're having a good time out there, do me a favor. Slam that like button. It'll help more people see this video and learn about this game. I had a ball with one button bosses. I, I think it's great. Cheers to you, by the way. I am out here rocking a uh, hot ice water. You know, not, it's not, I guess it's not really hot at all. It's uh, it's it's a very cold ice water. It is a very welcomed ice water. Just like, just like this stage right here. I, this was a glory run, folks. Some of these boards. I was like, wow, we're just shooing through the competition. And level four on the small bullet damage, I mean. So of course, we've got that other component that sometimes shoots additional small bullets. So I thought, hey, why not why not go hog wild with this? Now this gets tricky as well. Just a lot going on. And I mentioned that with Rabbit and Steel too. You know, I, I find the game oddly relaxing because you're so hyper focused on it you can't really think about the mess in the kitchen it's haunting me right now no not really not really it is what it is uh it's it's a process you know wow that uh that was a close one man oh man worked out worked out okay Yeah, so there is, there is quite the scene uh, downstairs, and you know when the uh, contractor got out here today, you know he was supposed to just work on our pantry area because uh, we're shaving some walls back. There was one wall that got removed because uh, it's you know. It's, the pantry is going to become the new home of our fridge, and then it's going to be surrounded by cabinets. And it's it's gonna it's gonna take the current design and slam us into the future. It's gonna be like, hey, goat and Mrs. Goat, welcome to 2024. This is the first day of the rest of your lives. Welcome to kitchens, like what a kitchen should be, you know? Um, it's it's. It's really exciting stuff. Uh, so he was he was only going to work on the pantry today. That was the plan. And uh, he looks and he goes, yeah, but you know, uh, you know, I could I could do some work in here. Oh, and by the way, you know, we're we're gonna make some dust. And I looked at him and I said, yeah, okay, you know, so yeah, all right, there's a little bit of dust. It'll, it, it's gonna be okay. And he looks at me and says, no, no, no. There's gonna be some dust. Like you're gonna want to move this stuff around. I'm, I'm gonna start cutting into this, and it's gonna go everywhere. You know, you got you got some pots out there. You got you got coffee cups. You got the coffee station. And I looked at him. I said, "Oh, wait a second. I I think I understand. You're saying we're gonna get a lot of dust all over the coffee equipment." And he said, "Yeah, it's possible." I said, 
Oh, say say no more. Say no more. I didn't know it was an emergency. So I got to work and, um, you know, I made sure that all the coffee equipment, real nice spot. It's, it's nice and safe, right? As far as the cups and the plates and all the other shit, you know, I just, I moved as fast as I could. You know, we, we did the, we did the best we could. All right. Um, if anything breaks, you know, I thought, well, if anything breaks, we'll, we'll just tell mom we ate the whole thing, right? If you know, you know. And uh, some of you know, you know, it's a, uh, it's a thing. Um, but we, uh, we, you know, we put on some Metallica and classic rock, and I gotta tell you, I, I had a good time doing it, and. Uh, this gentleman is just, just tremendous, and and I had a really good feeling when we hired him. You know, we got along really well, and turns out he's he's just tremendous. And I started to think to myself, you know, if I if I hadn't have gone into this crazy recruiting thing, I think I would have had a good time doing some kind of carpentry work or something, you know. Because I'm definitely not built for it today. Uh, I've, I've gotten lots of questions along the way about measurements and the plan and, you know, complicated questions like, what is happening with this wall? And and I give that really blank stare and, and he'll say back to me, oh, I, I can see the gears are turning and, and actually what's happening is nothing at all. Uh, there are no gears turning, there's nothing really, there's no electrical activity firing off. It's just complete confusion, right? And and at one point he said, well, we'll look at this plan, you know, this, this says 27 inches over here and I've just measured and, you know, I'm coming up with 28 and a quarter and, you know, I, I need the final plan before I start cutting. And, uh, you know, he says to me, are, am I talking too fast? Are you with me? And, and, and I'm thinking, well, you know, I just had an out-of-body experience. That's that. That's what just happened. <laughs> yeah. So you know, a lot of that stuff is over my head. Really long way of saying that. And uh, some of you that have, have hung out on the channel for a while, you, you're saying, "Oh my goodness, you know, it, so much is making sense now." We've. I, I understand. I understand some of the things I've seen and heard over the years. Uh, you know, we all have our strengths and weaknesses, folks, and mine are definitely that. You know, I, I had to tell him that the plans to me, uh, they, they look like, well, they look like a foreign language. I just have a really tough time uh, seeing that stuff in my mind. I, I don't know what it is. It's, it's like a mental block for me. Hmm. Cheers to you. But I'll tell you, moving that stuff around all day and, you know, simultaneously handling work items uh, that are coming up along the way. And, and this, this was a light day, thankfully. Uh, but just kind of using all the parts of your brain. I mean, I'm, I'm just fall over tired. But I didn't want to leave you without any content and this this was this was a fun run I, I hope you're enjoying it so far and you get a little bit deeper into these zones uh, in the roguelike mode and they're throwing a lot at you but you can see we had a really good setup going yeah I started thinking through the speed options and just acceleration in general to get to those beefier attacks faster and the fact that we got the buddy ship as well that'll fire off those attack zones are really interesting you know because if you fly within them a little bit you get a you get a nice little boost to attack power
So you now know a ton more than you ever wanted to about my kitchen remodel. And we just started the process. You're probably going to hear uh, a little bit more about it along the way. Uh, hopefully I've got some some funny stories. Uh, you know, based on how today went, I, I think I think I'm pretty confident that uh, there's going to be some stories along the way. But he wasn't he wasn't kidding about the particulate in the air. Uh, I, I actually ordered uh, an air purifier today and it arrived today and it is set up for tomorrow because there will be more cutting into the walls. And it is amazing, the amount of dust. But what can you do, right? Yeah, I was, I was so happy with how fast I was going, despite all of the different things happening. And there is a lot popping off, you'd agree. And then it gets smaller and you're just not sure. And then of course they're throwing shurikens that blast out into different projectiles. It, it's all a lot. But it is, it is just a blast of a game. And there it is, folks. We did it. Victory. Bravo. I'm proud of you. I'm sure you can be better than all those other people on the rankings. And that's when I thought, yeah. Right. But it felt really, really good. So rank 56, and then I checked around a little bit to see how we were looking. Yeah, so I wasn't in front of tons of people. But to be on the list at all, I felt all right about it. Folks, this is a game called One Button Bosses, and I think it is a riot. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will get back to some beefier content soon here. Just got a lot. There's a lot going on. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you again next time. Take care out there.